Hi, my name is Erica Casada-York. I am a certified nurse midwife at Professional Gynecological Services here in Brooklyn, New York. Today we're going to talk about IUDs or intrauterine devices. This is actually one of three separate videos and if you're interested in IUDs, if you're wondering if they might be for you, if you've decided to get an IUD and you kind of know what you're getting into, then I encourage you to watch all three of them. First I want to talk about the two separate kind of families of IUDs. IUDs. And in this video, I'm going to tell you all about the non-hormonal IUD. This kind of IUD, the brand that is available in the United States, is called Paragard, but there are other brands available worldwide, and they're all pretty much the same. It's a little plastic T that goes inside your uterus, and it is coated with a thin layer of copper wire around kind of the bars of the T. And this copper wire is safe for people, unless you have an allergy to copper, in which case you should not use this method, but the copper itself is actually toxic to sperm. And so with this IUD, if sperm go into the vagina and from there through the cervix into the uterus, they just get sort of deranged and stop being able to swim and end up just living out the rest of their lives and dying inside the uterus and never making their way into the fallopian tubes, never making their way to fertilize the egg. It's a common misconception that these IUDs are actually a very early abortion method and that they prevent implantation of the fertilized egg. This is actually not true. They actually are toxic to the sperm themselves and so this is how they manage to protect you from becoming pregnant. The copper IUD is more than 99% effective. It is as effective as having your tubes tied, but unlike having your tubes tied, it is completely reversible. And in fact, when we remove an IUD from somebody, their fertility comes back to whatever it would have been anyway, immediately, that very moment. Obviously, people have different levels of fertility and how quick or how easy it is for them to get pregnant, but having an IUD for any length of time is not going to change that level of fertility that you otherwise would have had. With the copper IUD, because it has no hormones in it, it's not going to have any of these hormonal side effects that we see with a lot of other kinds of birth control. You're not going to have changes in your weight or your metabolism. You're not really going to have changes in your skin or hair. It's not going to make you more prone to headaches. It's not going to give you any kind of mood swings. It's not going to change anything about when your period comes or the timing of your period period. If you're someone who has irregular periods before you get the copper IUD, you're still going to have irregular periods. If you get a period once a month before the copper IUD, you're still going to have on a regular cycle that you would have had beforehand. The side effects that we do see with a copper IUD, my kind of rough estimate just in my own practice is that I see about a third of people telling me that their periods are heavier than they were once they have the IUD in. And for some people that's heavier in terms of more cramps, for some people that's heavier in terms of it's actually more bleeding or more days of bleeding. So you're still having a period on that same schedule, but it might just be heavier than it was before. That's not the case for most people, but it is a fairly common side effect. So I always want to make people aware of that. Also sometimes, and this is, I think it's probably related to the increase in the bleeding that can happen for some people. And it might also have a little to do with the copper that's in the IUD. I do see some people reporting an increase in issues where there's a pH imbalance in the vagina. So this might be more prone to yeast infections or more prone to bacterial vaginosis. This is not officially a side effect of the copper IUD, but I also like to make my patients aware that this sometimes does happen. Again, does not usually happen. The IUD does not make you more vulnerable to sexually transmitted infections. Two people, one with an IUD and one without an IUD, they are just equally as likely to contract, for example, chlamydia or any other sexually transmitted infection infection. The IUD does not increase the risk or the rate that you would develop an infection like that if you were exposed to it. I'm going to talk in one of the other videos about what it's like to have the IUD inserted and removed and sort of how you maintain your IUD and take care of yourself when you have one in place. So please watch that video as well. Then I'm also going to talk in a separate video about what the hormonal IUDs are like. So if you are kind of weighing your options and considering which one you want to do, then please watch that one as well. As always, share this video with someone that you think would be interested. Please comment, reply. We're always very happy to see you in the office. And if you're interested in having an IUD, we would love to help that happen for you. I hope this helped. Have a great day.